Hello everyone! So today I have the long-awaited luxury trailer park build for you. This is a long video. Um, I do understand if you just want to see the end product and I will bookmark that in the description below if you want to jump forward at any point. Um, but if you're uh, ready with some popcorn and your favorite drink, I am here to spend the next 50 minutes with you. Uh, it's not too bad. It's really not. Hopefully you enjoy this and are entertained for the whole 50 minutes. Now, that being said, I uh, still have some issues with my voice right now. Uh, I'm going to attempt to talk through this entire thing, but forgive me if I have to take a few moments to sip some tea or cough. I'll try to edit the coughs out at least, okay? So anyway, with this build, I really wanted to create a luxury trailer park that took full advantage of the for rent pack. So. Every trailer has like a laundry area or utility area. I put hot water heaters and electrical boxes in each area, even the ones I didn't furnish. So yes, I did not furnish three of these. And the video is still 50 minutes long. Um, I cut out a few things. I forgot to hit record. On a couple of things but that's okay the one thing that I forgot to hit record on you guys can check it out if you download the build a little bit closer um, I did not actually even take a picture of it and not because I meant to but um, because I forgot <laughs> so um, this was a labor of love I've been working on this trailer park since the end of December um I'm trying to remember when the official first video date was on this um it might have been like December 29th uh, I think is when I sat down and started this and it has taken me until January 20th to finish it now that being said I worked on some other things as well as you know because I've had, you know, some new videos. And it's really just because doing these trailer parks mentally takes a lot out of me, um, especially these big ones. And I think that's going to be something I'm going to have to look at with these larger builds that I still want to do. Um, and also for the for rent type builds, because I don't want every unit, trailer, you know, to look the same. I want them to have some sort of customization, which is one reason why I'm only furnishing half of them. So that being said, I did make it very easy to just copy and paste these rooms into the empty ones if you want. Um, and then you can just change, you know, colors or whatever if you don't want to furnish them yourselves but I also know many of you enjoy the furnishing ex aspect of building and just don't want to do floor plans so I left those blank I also tried to create it uh the landscaping so that you could easily like uh move these in without interrupting any of the landscaping around there so they're most of the landscaping at least where the trailers are here are pre is pretty basic um i didn't go too crazy with it there's there's one but it's a furnished one that i did so the other thing is like all the bathrooms i literally copied and pasted the bathrooms into each trailer that I furnished. Um, I might have put them in the unfurnished, but I can't remember. I don't. I don't think I did. Um, but if that's something you guys would like me to do, is kind of put in like basic bathroom fixtures into the ones I don't furnish, 
so that it's kind of like how you would move into an American home. Um, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, so pretty much, you know, I just copied and pasted these and changed the colors around a little bit. I may have changed the cabinets in one of them, but the layouts are, you know, pretty much the same. Because my thought process with this build was this is maybe a manufactured home community where the company that manufactures these, uh, I guess, you know, trailers, you know, mobile homes, manufactured homes, um, whatever you want to call them, they created this community. So they just put all of the same trailer in and are running it out now. And that's kind of where I went from that. And maybe, you know, if you're going to play this with the for rent pack as the landlord, you had bought this from the company, or maybe you uh, got a good deal on all these trailers if you would take this, you know, model off their hands. Um, and again, I'm going to use manufactured home and trailer interchangeably. There is a difference um, with those to an extent. Uh, some manufactured homes are not mobile. Um, where like trailers, you know, you really think that they have, you know, something. They, they have wheels under them. Uh, I've lived in both. And there are some benefits to both of them. Uh, the trailers, it's beneficial if you have to move, you know, if you want to move from a park to maybe your own lot or, you know, to a different trailer park. That's kind of nice. It is expensive, but not as expensive as moving an entire house. Um, and the manufactured home that I lived in, we had a basement. Um, my parents actually had it kind of built and put on property and the walls are thicker and it, they're really well built now and the same thing with the ones that you'd consider more of a trailer type uh, building so that's kind of the uh, basis for these builds these are more modern trailers this is supposed to be more of a luxury trailer park this is centered on family type community though um one of my trailers is not a family it is a uh, trio of bachelors is what i built that for so really um i wanted to create something that was a community feel now if you would like to you could easily take you know the bedrooms and make them into single, you know, people rooms and put in a, you know, senior community. Uh, yeah, that's, the nice thing is, like I said, you can easily, if you're not a, you know, builder or decorator, you can definitely easily just copy and paste these rooms in. Everything is set up exactly the same. And I did furnish, uh, what I, I believe you should be able to find a trailer that will work with the empty ones. So, yeah. Um, minimal effort if you want to copy-paste. Okay, so the other thing is I did copy-paste the kitchens. Because, again, I was thinking these are going to be um, trailers that were you know, created and built, and they're all the same. Um, again, the empty ones don't have kitchens or anything like that. What I did when I did the kitchen was I just put a wall around it um, to create a room and then just copied that over, you know, rotated it as needed. Um, so they're all the same setup. They all have the same counters. Um, they're just different colors. They all have this island, you know, area. So, yeah, that worked pretty well. And it made my life a little easier. Um, I'll be honest. I do enjoy these builds. And honestly, if I had more time in my day, I would probably take a little more time to create different looks for these. Um, 
But with these bigger builds, just copying and pasting, you know, certain things is, you know, a time saver. And it makes sense. It's not like it's something that wouldn't make sense to have them all be the same. And the other thing is, I, I guess I could probably upload this kitchen as a room to the gallery too, uh, or a couple of them. Um, yeah, I might do that too, just to make life easier. Plus, it's a cute little kitchen and could work in a bunch of different builds, so uh, I might do that. Alright, so anyway, um, I haven't really talked much about the each build specifically, and really it's just, um, these two are, they're families. Family with kids, the first two, and uh, just kind of, you know, decorating for that. This one, I kind of pictured a family in here that was a little more, um, maybe a traditional family where there, there's, uh, Maybe the mom doesn't work, or maybe they both do. Um, they like the more mid-century modern style. And to be honest, I was working on this and my um, garden penthouse at the same time. So I think uh, the vibes from this one went into the garden penthouse a little bit. Uh, you can tell what uh, what mood I was in, I guess, or what, what flavor I wanted during this time period. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I'll link to that up above. I, I had a lot of fun doing that build. Um, I'm actually planning on moving a sim into that apartment build. Uh, soon, hopefully. I have a storyline to finish yet. So, also with these, I took this bathroom, copied and pasted that too. I just figured, you know, once you got one of these done, I could put them into any, um, all of the trailers really. Uh, I will say, originally, my plan was to possibly furnish all these. <laughs> and I'm happy I didn't. This would have been a almost two-hour speed build. Um, and part of the reason this is a little longer is I am slowing down uh, my builds a little bit. I had that request, so I'm trying that out. Let me know what you think. If you like it being a little bit slower than my previous ones, or if you want me to speed it up a little bit. Uh, my voice would probably thank you for speeding it up, but I have no problem, you know, spending an hour with you. At all. You'll just have to bear with my uh, short breaks to take, you know, some sips of tea or coffee or whatever I happen to have at the moment. I am actually able to do this um, Saturday afternoon. I have been working all day on this video and the last one. Um, and yeah, it's it's been a labor of love today. But I'm so happy with how this video turned out um, and this build turned out and, uh, and how my Rapunzel Tower turned out. I guess I should link to that one too. You should check that out. It's my uh, newest build with the uh, Castle Estate kit. And I will say, in general, I, I like the kit. There's a few issues. I'm hoping they fix it so the windows and the doors will work on rounded walls. Um, but yeah, if you haven't checked out that video yet, you should take a look at it. I had It's a fun, whimsical type build. So anyway, in here, uh, you know, I pictured two girls. Um, this one, I think I pictured more of like a preteen. Um, I know one of them is a like a preteen, and one I believe I have is like a child. Um, so that's kind of how I decorated this. And I know we don't technically have preteens in The Sims, but what I usually do when I play is I decorate their rooms a little bit differently for the first, you know, little bit of their, you know, teenage lives. And, or even like just before, you know, a few days before they age up or whatever. It depends on how long I'm, you know, what lifespan I'm playing on. Um... But that's kind of what I do, just to create kind of my own preteen, you know, moment, I guess, <laughs> since we don't have those. Um, but that's what I was thinking with this one. 
And then I believe the other one is still, still a, you know, child girl. And I do kind of flip around between both their rooms just because I can see them really well from right here. Um, it made sense as I was going through to do, you know, the curtains and, you know, the desk and then the beds all, all at once. Um, just kind of sped things up a little bit. I only do that when I'm like in this situation where I can see both rooms pretty well and it's just easier to, to do everything at once. And now I'm just kind of getting into decorating, you know, the, the child's room. And, you know, you can see the difference. This has a little more like kid oriented um, decor in it. You know, maybe mom picked out a few things. So that's kind of where I went with this one. And I will say I used this build. I'm hoping you kind of figured it out just by the title and the fact that it's something I've talked about quite a bit as being a big build that I am using multiple packs. I have probably used almost all of them, if not all of them, that I own. Um, I will guarantee the castle kit is not anything. <laughs> um, other than that, I, I can't guarantee anything. Um, and if you're new to downloading builds from the gallery, the game should replace them with um, any items you don't own with base game or whatever uh, packs you do own, or it'll just delete them entirely. And a few years ago, before I was doing the YouTube channel, um, I only owned a few packs. Um, I hadn't played a lot over the years. Um, in fact, I think I bought The Sims 4 when it came out, got all excited about it, and touched it for maybe three weeks and stopped playing for a while. And a lot of it just had to do with what was going on in my life at the time. So eventually I was just, I, I kind of like opened up uh, Origin the one day and went, I haven't played The Sims in forever. And so started playing again. Um, and then if you've been somebody who's watched maybe some of my older videos or if you've read the description down below, I actually started this channel um, kind of in honor of my sister who passed away from cancer in 2021. Um, when she got sick and couldn't work anymore, she had been talking about starting a gaming channel with Animal Crossing. And I did some Animal Crossing builds on this channel early on. Um, I have taken those down as of now. Uh, mostly because Google kind of likes you concentrating on one thing. Um, and I just kind of got out of playing Animal Crossings for a while. So uh, eventually I started doing Sims. And I had started doing game play. And unfortunately, you know, my computer just didn't seem to want to handle it very well and you know I was working full-time overtime all that and just couldn't deal with it so I decided to change this into a build channel and now you have building sims and uh, you know that's what I'm doing right now I'm not against going back to gameplay eventually um, I'm also not against uh, doing some streams eventually as well but currently my uh my life will not allow me to do that. But once that changes, we'll, we'll discuss. Okay, so here I'm working on the greenhouse. Um, you probably noticed I started the outdoor patio area uh, earlier and then like left it. And that was just because I had the idea in my mind and didn't want to lose it. So that's kind of what I just did there is I'm like, okay. I know what I want there. I want to get that in there. And I need I need to do this and then go back to my, the rest of my build. So that's what that was about. Um, I uh, Sometimes I just have to take a minute and do what pops into my head right then or I forget about it. And then I get mad at myself because I finish the build and go, but 
I wanted to do this other thing and now I can't because the build's done and I have no room. All right, so moving on to this pool area, uh, I wanted to create a really awesome community space with this. And I think I pulled it off pretty dang well. Um, the pool I struggle with a little bit and I actually end up changing it um, after the video. Um, and, but it works, it works. So here, what my plan is, is to put in the pool area um, and this little fenced in area is going to eventually be a splash park for the kids. So as I said, this is a luxury trailer park. So not only do they have a pool and a gym, they have a splash pad, a grilling area, a fire pit, a greenhouse, and eventually you will see a playground. So here, I'm trying to figure out um, how I want to do the hot tub. Uh, I kind of put it there thinking that's where I'm going to keep it. But then I'm like, I don't like how it looks. So I move it there. And then I decide, no, I like it over here. And you can see, I just kind of play with it for quite a while. Um, I do end up keeping it back against the fence. And eventually um, you'll see that I put in a, um, I don't know, diving thing whatever those are here uh, yeah I just why can't we just have a diving board like you know a classic diving board that would be great um, but anyway I digress um, now here just kind of placing items for the playground area uh, figuring out where about where I want to put them um, mostly just what I want to have there so I know I have the room. And then working on the splash pad. Um, I will say I tried a couple of different things with this and um, I think it's cute. It's not supposed to be a big splash pad. It's just a little thing um, for the kitties to enjoy. And I don't mean cats, I mean kids. Um, so yeah, I think I pulled that off pretty dang well. Uh, yeah, I, I moved around, I think, a couple more times here. Uh, but I decided the gazebo worked well here, kind of cover that area. Uh, I want it sunken down still, but since I had the gazebo, I had to uh, expand that a little bit. So you'll see the stairs kind of changed a little bit with the uh, gym area. I play with those later on as well. Um, Mostly, I'm playing with platforms. I'm playing with, you know, how things look. And even this area, I decide eventually platforms are needed. <laughs> so it, it just didn't look right without them. So, yeah, I, I just kind of went with whatever my mind thought was a good idea at the time. And I think it added to that luxury feel. Uh, it took a little bit of work but yeah it it was worth it it added quite a bit to this build and i'm so happy with it um at first i was just gonna leave the grills up which you can see i'm kind of like playing around with things um i thought it might be cool to add water to the splash pad area but then i realized it was just weird um and so i didn't do that um but then i decided no i want the dining area to be uplifted so you know just this nice little grilling community space um, that you can enjoy you almost never have to leave the trailer park it's great and the other thing is you know you don't have to uh go to the gym right that's always a benefit in The Sims, correct? I mean, really. It's just handy to have it all there. Okay, my my gameplay I'm doing right now, my Sim doesn't have a gym, and he needs one for his, his workouts because he's an athlete.
All right, so as you can see, again, bathroom looks, you know, exactly the same. I had just copied it over, added a few things. I didn't, you know, I didn't just leave it, copy it and leave it. So they are all a little different. Um, also, I did do these first two with laundry rooms and uh, decided to do the third one for people who don't have the laundry day pack. Um, so... That one it might be a little bit harder to copy paste it, but um, in general, you probably could. You might just want to build a wall between where the water heater is and um, and the rest of the room, and hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then you can just copy paste that over. Uh, yeah, I try to make my builds, especially these community large builds um, easy to manipulate uh, just because not everybody's a builder or wants to be a builder so yeah so this one I decided to embrace a color I don't work with too often and that is red um, and so this room has a red theme um, you can also see I had a heck of a time trying to get uh, what I wanted into these cabinets. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't play with these much, but I have them in this build everywhere. I swear. So, yeah, I, it must have just been a thing. So these are a dream home decorator. I really recommend. There's a couple packs I do recommend you get if you want to download a lot of my builds from the gallery. Um, Dream Home Decorator is one of them, and the Everyday Clutter Kit is another one um, that I've been noticing. I've been I use it a lot, um, and the plants. Um, I just can't remember the name of the kit, but it's the plant pack. Um, and right now, that's kind of what I use the most. Um, I do use a lot of like the Seasons curtains or the Eco Lifestyle curtains. Um, but I know Seasons is a more popular pack, so I'm sure many of you own that one. But, yeah, um, those are the ones I tend to concentrate on. I believe I do have a poll uh, in the community tab where I'm asking what packs you own. I, I thought I got that up, but maybe not. Um, I know I had trouble um, getting that one up, and I might have to do a poll where I link out I don't know um because Google doesn't like outbound links that much but they only allow like five options for a poll so yeah I'm I may have held off putting that up so don't quote me on that being in the community tab um because yeah I I'm, I might have already done it done one of them if not I am going to try to get it done but like I said don't it's just yeah they make it difficult we're going to put it that way all right so as you can see I had copied and pasted this kitchen over and then changed you know the coloring changed you know the uh, flutter that's in there and uh, just kind of made gave it its own look um one tip I have, if you are trying to build and decorate your own kitchens, they have the marbles jars from the For Rent Pack. If you have that, those make some really cool little like clutter things. Now, that being said, I don't know if your Sims are going to just grab them and run away with them either. So, um, I haven't, I haven't played in a build I put those in yet. So, at least not that I can think of. And if I have, I don't have kits. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for this um, house, I pictured this family as being kind of a fun, funky type family. Um, maybe they travel a little bit. They, they enjoy colors and you know, things, because I, I think it was doing the red bedroom that started that uh, thought process in my head. Um, the other building tip I have for you, by the way, is 
find a family to put into the build if you're just building a house, um, even if it's just in your mind. Um, I know I do say, you know, in my mind quite a bit, um, but that's because I am. I'm picturing who could be living here, um, who could be, you know, walking around here and using this space. And part of that comes from my interior design schooling. Uh, that is something that was drilled into us on a consistent basis of you needed to think how this space was going to be used, who was going to be using it, and what they were going to be doing in it. Um, because at least at the time I went to school, which was quite a few years ago, uh, a lot of architects were good at designing beautiful, amazing buildings, but they didn't think about how those buildings were going to be used by the everyday person. So that was something that we kind of were drilled in. So that's one reason that you see I'm always creating a family or I'm saying in my mind, I pictured this, you know, this happening. Um, I really should put that on a shirt. I think I was talking to my niece and she recommended that. She's like, you should, you know, yeah. I, I think our conversation went something like, like that. Um, yeah, might happen eventually. So here... I ended up doing a blue and brown, which I kind of do quite a bit. Um, wasn't my original intent. Um, I guess it's technically like more of a tealish brown and brown, but uh, yeah, I think it worked. It still has pops of color, you know, and but still creates a nice homey vibe. And I, I was really happy with how this trailer turned out. Um, to be honest. I think this is where, like, I stopped and started doing um, an, another build um, that I've put off to. I, yeah, I've got another weird one coming. It, it might be a few months before you see that one. Uh, but it was, I, I needed something that was completely opposite of a trailer park for rent to build. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't have the castle pack yet. So, yeah, I'm happy I didn't start as much of the big castle I'm planning on building um, earlier than getting the pack because of all the limitations that are on it. Yeah, it really makes me sad. It's like, really? Really? Okay. I'm going to stop complaining about, you know, the fact that a castle pack doesn't have windows that work on round walls okay so anyway let's get back to this build um you can see you're trying to figure out carpet and i ended up placing this one as a two and i usually will do that and it works out really well but as you can see i changed my mind um and that is because it glitched out funny um some carpets that works for other ones it doesn't so yeah unfortunately it didn't work with this one but this one from uh, i believe this is growing together worked uh, pretty dang well in here so now just adding in this clutter if you've noticed i'm trying to go room by room here um i don't think i've moved the bathroom over yet but that will happen later um and you'll just see the bathroom up here. Um, what I usually did was just pause the recording. See, here's the bathroom. <laughs> and then put it in. Uh, so now working on these bedrooms. Uh, this family. This family. This family likes children. That's how I'm going to put this. I believe they have one, two, three, four, five kids. Um... And personally, anybody who does that is absolutely insane, okay? Um, I'm one of five kids, okay? <laughs> My mom was insane. And I tell her that occasionally. <laughs> um, but no, uh, it's just, you know, we lived in a, you know, kind of a small farmhouse for quite a few years. Uh, and smaller homes, pretty much all of my childhood and teen years. Uh, it wasn't until I was in college and 
actually, it was a couple years after I graduated high school because I didn't start college right away, uh, that they moved into a nice big house and there was only, you know, three of the kids left because my older sister and I had already pretty much moved out. Um, I ended up moving back in, so it was a good thing for me, but, but yeah. Yeah, I, I could, I can sympathize with these kids that'll be living in these trailers. Um, because, yeah. <laughs> um, and we didn't get bunk beds. Oh, yeah. The, the last house we lived in before I graduated high school uh, was the old farm house and the uh, walls angled in the bedrooms so or the roof came down and angled in the bedrooms so yeah no bunk beds so at least they have those um i did kind of like putting the dresser under the bed i wasn't going to at first but i wanted a little more space in that room for them and i could do it because i didn't have three beds in that one so now i'm just kind of going around trying to furnish things. I decided that spot in that bedroom just looked really empty, but I didn't know what to put there. Um, I honestly can't remember if I ended up putting something there or not. Um, right now I'm trying to find artwork. <laughs> so as you can see, sometimes this stuff takes a while. All right, so jumping around again, um, decided to do this little building here, which ends up being our gym area and I struggled a little bit with this you're going to see in this build that I create this fun little uh, roof area with half walls and when I went to take my pictures I realized that wasn't gonna work so the final build has a different roof on this gym um, and I had to change a few other little things around. You'll see that in the pictures, um, because I did it and then retook the pictures. Uh, but it still has the same vibe to it. So, yeah, not a whole lot changed. Just the roof and, uh, uh there's, there's a couple more stairs added in. Um, the other thing is you can see, uh, the platforms I used for stairs to go down to the pool area and into the building itself. Um, I like doing that occasionally instead of regular stairs. Just because you can create these bigger patio type, you know, areas, bigger stairs. And I'm going to be honest, I struggled with what windows, doors, everything to put in this thing. Um, but I do really like how it ended up. Uh, looking in the end when I finally get it all done, even after the changes I made uh, outside of recording. So, yeah, it it's a cute it's a cute gym, um, and I think fits the the vibe of the trailer park. Now I will say I didn't do like any type of office area or indoor community space like I've done in a couple other builds I've done. Uh, this is just a gym. You've got a couple of showers here, a bathroom. And really, I thought about putting the bathrooms closer to the pool area, you know, because that would make sense. Um, but I didn't want the, the building to be really close to that other trailer. And it was ending up that way. Um, I played with where this was a couple times, um, and, you know, cut all that out because I, I think I played with it for like 45 minutes. Well, but, um, I think it works. I mean, it's the Sims. <laughs> it's not real life. And so, uh, you know, one bathroom, a couple of showers. Uh, most of the time your Sims aren't going to go, with, you know, from the pool to shower. But this is more of, you know, if you're at the gym and you can just shower right there if you need to. It's more for aesthetic. So. so this other thing is this pool area. And this is another thing that uh, I do change a little bit after this recording. Um, I kind of go through and double check everything. And I added a little bit to the build. 
um, added some landscaping in around the park area here. Um, and I added a cool little fountain to the pool. Um, it's not like a fountain that falls into the pool, unfortunately. Um, I kept trying to see if I could get that to work and it wouldn't. But it's a cute little fountain area. And I think it looks better. I, I just didn't like the wall um, from the seating fire pit area just being there. I mean, at first I was like, oh, that looks cool. And then as, you know, I went through the build more and more, I realized, no, I don't like it as much as I thought I did. <laughs> so, um, I changed it. But yeah, everything else um, is almost the same. I think I added a um, colorful little like uh, covering over the splash pad area over there. Um, and now that I'm looking at, you know, what I've been doing, I don't even think I got all that recorded. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, yay. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's get into this build. So, the uh, bedroom here, I wanted to create a different look. And so I put this bookshelf in with the headboard. I don't think your sims are going to try to use it, but they might. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's more decorative at least in my mind, it's more decorative. So that was kind of what I was going with here. I also um, kind of created this as, you know, somebody who's got a little bit of style. This is my bachelor trailer. Um, and I'm saying his favorite color is brown. I'm sticking to it. Okay. It's either that or his mom came in and decorated for him. All right. Whichever storyline you would like to go with. So. I will say trying to uh, decorate this in a way that kind of screamed these could be bachelors was interesting. Um. It's a little bare, I guess is, you know, how I want to put it. Um, and this is the one, as I said earlier, that doesn't have the laundry in it. I'm going to say they hire somebody to do their laundry, okay? <laughs> or or they go to mom and dad's and do it. Yeah. Um, but I don't put as much into this. And it's not because, like, you know... I didn't want to, or I was getting a little tired of the build. Um, it was just trying to convey that these are bachelors and they, uh, they, they prioritize other things besides, you know, decor. And you'll get what I'm saying as I go through this build a little bit. So, the other thing is, as you can see, kind of changing the cabinets over, um, different colors in there, different color scheme. Uh, I think I went through and changed the colors in the bathroom too, but I'm not sure now that I've caught a glimpse of that. Um, I haven't uploaded this as a recording to the gallery yet, so I'm going to go look at that when I'm done. <laughs> All right, and then here I wanted to put in um, just kind of this little space, uh, cabinet space, uh, to create a little bit of a cabinet um, that wasn't a normal TV stand. Now, as you can see, they prioritize their TV viewing, so their entertainment is what's important to them. Oh. But they've got a little bit, you know, like I said, maybe mom and dad came over and went, uh, we, we need to work on this. We need to do a little more. Um, or who knows, maybe one of them has a girlfriend, however you want to play this. Um, and really, I mean, this works for any type of roommate situation. Uh, really that brown room would be great for 
either either a man or a woman or a couple. Um, so yeah, this trailer actually has a lot of story it can it can handle. Um, now you can see they entertainment is what's important. So they have a foosball table and a bar instead of a table, but they have the counter area to sit at. So that's fine. They don't have five kids. They don't need that much seating. All right. So the other thing is um, kind of using cheaper items to an extent in this build. Um, so, you know, cheaper beds, the uh, dream home decorator cabinets, uh, which I don't know how cheap those are. They might not be that cheap, but, you know, they're, they, they work with the theme of the build. And I will say this room came together a lot quicker than I thought it would. This whole, this whole trailer came together a lot quicker than I thought it would. Believe it or not, sometimes, um, building without all the clutter and the crazy, um, can be harder than building with the clutter because the clutter kind of adds, you know, stuff to the build that, um, just building kind of basic rooms doesn't. So example is this room. I decided we're going to make this person an artist. So this has a little more clutter than the rest of it, but you know, it's got the easel. It's got the little art stand, artwork. Um, and yeah, so that ended up turning out really well. Uh, you know, Bob pancakes, got to have him in there. And, um, now I'm just kind of trying to fill this space up a little bit. Um, I really wish they would give us some coats that just hang on the wall with nothing so that I can do stuff like this and actually hang a coat there. That'd be great. Sims team, not that you're listening, but that's part of the reason like the, the bags are hung there is to kind of give you an idea of that's what that's supposed to be. So adding in just some more movie posters and all that to finish that up. And now I'm just working on some landscaping. Kind of some finishing touches here. Um, as you can see, the trailers are still on the ground. So I like to now try to do my landscaping before I lift the trailers up. Um, it seems to make it a lot easier. And I will say this little thing here, that, that landscaping changes. Because I realize, one, they need to be able to get to their back door. And, um, two, I do something different and I like it much better. So here, just adding in all of the, uh, siding and all of that. And the mailbox area and just kind of landscaping around everything now. And I will say landscaping wise, I just... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I had, I had fun trying to landscape this this time, and I don't know why. Um, but it, it looks good. It looks really good when it's all done. So here I'm trying to figure out where I want to put a dumpster. Um, I decided back here with this wall kind of uh, made some sense. And yeah, so that worked pretty well. I know it's in kind of a weird spot, but it works. It works. And, you know, I did put garbage cans at every trailer, so that's not an issue either. So here I'm just kind of putting in some basic landscaping. As I said, I kind of kept it uh, basic. Did a little more with this trailer here um, and decided to uh, create some little planter, you know, a big planter box, really, not little one. Um, 
But again, I wanted to wait to do anything with that until I lifted it up because the uh, foundation would change how that would look. And then here I sized down these planters because I wanted enough room for them to get to their back door if needed. All right, so now I'm just going to go around and put in fencing and uh, get these ready to be lifted up. Okay, so as you can see, I put in some trees and put in some more bushes. And this is the cute little area that I really enjoyed building. Um, oh, added in a couple of cars. Uh, not that they can be used, but, you know, it gives the feel of it. And then here I'm working on uh, just getting this planter box filled up. I kind of jump around a little bit between this area and this uh, the little front entry, I believe. Um, but yeah, it sometimes trying to do these planter boxes is easy. Other times it's aggravating. Um, one tip I have for these is take the flooring option that we have here and you can either do green or you can use, um, it, I think it's like a dirty tile or something, but it looks like dirt. So that's something I do all the time. All right, now here I'm looking at uh, putting in like a little grill for the, the guy's trailer and a table. And I will say, I go through and expand these porches a little bit eventually, along with changing the color of them, um, the railings anyway. Uh, one, the white was starting to hurt my eyes. Like, I work on a computer all day. I'm like, if you're going to play in this all day, this white is too much. Um, and so I went ahead and change those over and then I go through um change all the stairs so they're wood and um you know continue on like I said the, the end of the build is kind of more of a hodgepodge of me doing various things um as I said I do extend the porches out because I do put some grills in and realize we need a little more room on those side porches so I end up doing that um, and I like it much better. I think it just fits uh, the vibe a little bit more. You can get a little more out there. Uh, yeah, so you can see that's what I do here. Run through, do all of them. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm going to do this big of a trailer park build again anytime real soon. Um, I might get the itch in another, you know, month or two to start one. So, uh, just depends on what we have going on with, uh, with the Sims packs that are coming out. So, all right, we are slowly coming up to the end of the build. Now I'm just adding in some lighting and kind of changing things up. I decided I didn't like that tree. A little bit of lighting and getting everything kind of finished up. And I hope you guys really like these little lights I put in. I love them. It's a, all of the trailers have the same like outdoor um, entry lights. I think those are cool. They're from Growing Together. All right, so here's the finished build and let's take a look at all the inside and outside. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I had a lot of fun doing that, even though it took a long time and uh, wore me out a little bit. It was still fun. 
All right. If you enjoyed this build, please hit the like button. Um, that kind of gives me an idea of what you guys like. And leave a comment below letting me know your favorite part of this build. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye now.